hello everyone this is amar sonone so in this video i will be discussing about the spur gear terminology so let's start so first term in the spur gear is the pitch circle now what is the pitch circle so it is the imaginary circle on which two mating gears seem to be rolling so pitch circle is simply this imaginary circle which you can see in the figure that is the pitch circle so at this pitch circle two gears will mesh next is the pitch circle diameter so name itself indicates that it is the diameter of pitch circle that is the pitch circle diameter diameter of this so it is very important term because the size of the gear is specified by this p circle diameter so next term is the circular pitch so circular pitch is nothing but it is the distance from point on a one tooth so this point to corresponding point of a adjacent tooth this point measured on a pitch circle so i am measuring this on a pitch circle so that is nothing but the circular pitch so a two gears will mesh correctly if they have same circular pitch next point is the pitch point so pitch point here you can see two gears are in contact so larger gear or a larger wheel is called as a gear and smaller wheel is called as a pinion so a point of contact of larger gear and smaller pinion is nothing but the pitch point so this point of contact is between two pitch circles addendum circle so what is addendum circle it is the circle drawn through top of the teeth so here you can see the addendum circle is there a circle which is drawn through top of the teeth and this circle is concentric with the pitch circle that is nothing but addendum circle next is the addendum so what is the addendum addendum it is the radial distance you can see this a radial distance it is in between addendum circle and pitch circle so that is nothing but the addendum next is the dedendum circle so what is dedendum circle so it is a circle drawn to bottom of the teeth so you can see this dedendum circle so this circle is drawn through bottom of the teeth again this circle is concentric with the pitch circle next is the dedendum so dedendum it is the radial distance between the pitch circle and dedendum circle so this dedendum circle is also called as a root circle okay next point is the face width so what is the face width face width you can see over here so it is the width of the gear and it is the distance from one end of the tooth to the another end of the tooth that is nothing but the face width common term flank of the tooth so what is the flank of the tooth it is the again surface of a tooth between pitch circle and dedendum circle here you can see a flank so i am considering a surface which is in between pitch circle and dedendum circle so that surface is nothing but the flank of the tooth next term is the land so here there are two land in this gear there is a top land and bottom land so top surface is called as top land and bottom surface of the gear is called as bottom land diametral pitch a very important term again it is defined as the ratio of number of teeth that is t to pitch circle diameter d that is nothing but the diametral pitch
next term is the module so module it is again reverse of diametral pitch it is a ratio of pitch diameter or p circle diameter to the number of teeth of a gear so p circle diameter is small d and number of teeth on a gear is capital d so that is nothing but the module it is expressed in mm okay so two mating gears will have same module this is the condition next pressure angle so what is a pressure angle very important term okay so pressure angle you can see over here so pressure angle it is nothing but the angle between common normal to two gear teeth at point of contact so this is the point of contact and i am drawing a common normal to two gear at point of contact and a common tangent at a pitch point this is also pitch point so i am drawing a common tangent to this pitch point so this angle is nothing but the pressure angle so in general manufacturing standard pressure angles are kept 14 and half degree or 20 degree so this is the standard pressure angle which is used in manufacturing of gears that is 14.5 degree or 20 degree next is the velocity or speed ratio a very important term so velocity ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of speed of a pinion to speed of a gear between two mating gears so that is called as velocity or speed ratio so it is given by np that is the speed of pinion and speed of gear so that is nothing but velocity ratio here it is not m it is velocity ratio vr is equal to np divided by ng so speed of a pinion means smaller gear and speed of a gear means this larger wheel is called as velocity or speed ratio so 